Hey everyone, this is TG from ToyGander.com and today we're going to review some custom Batman minifigures. So let's go ahead and take a gander. <laughs> Time for a few shout outs. The existing gamer Chief Ghost, Far Op 1, and Ader Animations. Here is a shout out to you. Now onto the figures. As always guys, if you're interested in getting any of these figures, be sure to check out ToyGander.com. And now let's open Irish Batman or Leprechaun Batman. This is a great figure. I believe this; these are all based on the upcoming Lego Batman movie. And some of the things that I noticed, the printing on his torso is really good. I mean, he has like this, this little overcoat that's printed on there. I will say that the printing is a little bit light or it's a little bit faded. It, it, um, it looks like a different printing process they used on this versus some of the ones that I've seen before. But uh, the head stands out very nicely. The, the hat or the helmet stands out very nicely. It's got this little four-leaf clover right on the top here. And one thing different about these, this Batman versus many of the other Batmans that I've ever seen is he has these arm guards right here, or these gauntlets. That's a little bit new, and I don't think I've seen that in a previous figure, and I think I put them on correctly. Little printing on the back. One thing that's a little weird is you look on the bottom of the feet, one foot's painted all the way to the bottom, and one's not. So I thought that was a little strange, but other than that, it's a great figure. Let's move on to the next one. Here is another Batman. I don't know which Batman this is actually in reference to, so if you guys know, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to find out. So, uh, like I said before, I don't know exactly what Batman this is in reference to, but the character looks actually really cool. He's got a lot of printing that you don't typically see on most Legos. Like, there's just a lot of stuff happening on here. His utility belt really stands out. And he's got these weird uh, printings on his feet, which look different than any other Batman. He also has this back piece, which I really like this back piece. A lot going on here. Now, the color seems like it may be a little bit purple or maybe blue. So, it's not just black and white like most of the other ones. It, I, so I don't know. I don't know what, what this character is in reference to, but if you guys know, be sure. I, I really want to find out. And his mask is different as well. His mask actually doesn't go all the way to the bottom and loop on the on around uh, his chin there. It actually stops and gets cut off, and his painted head actually fills in the blanks on that. Looks like a great figure. This is like a fancy suit Batman. He's got like a tuxedo on, so let's open him up. So this gold tuxedo Batman, he's totally different than from the, the traditional Batman that we normally see. He's like bright, he's got this crazy outfit on, and one of the things that stands out for me is this bat bow tie right there. I love it. absolutely love that bat bow tie. It's just that small subtle detail in there that really, really makes a difference. He's got this uh, gold hat there, and uh, no printing on the back. The more I'm seeing these gauntlets though, the more I'm digging them. It's just one little thing to change up the whole Batman Lego formula, because there's, let's be honest, there's tons of Batman minifigures. So you gotta do something to change it up, and I think these gauntlets are just the right touch. One of the things that I would like to see with this character is maybe do a Mr. Gold Chrome versus like this gold paint, and I think actually he's more fitted to have this gold, Mr. Gold staff versus that battering anyway. It just seems like it fits his character a little bit better. All right, let's move on to the next one. So I have a couple figures that I did not get included in this pack. So there's a couple from a previous pack that I just couldn't fit into a video. So I'm gonna try to fit those in here. This first one right here for this new pack is Arkham Asylum Batman. Overall, I like the thought of where they were going. However, with that being said, I think they missed the boat on quite a few things for the details, which just made the it just made a big difference with the character. So the first thing that I noticed is this Ant-Man helmet here. I don't know why they used it. Uh, I will say, even though it's it doesn't fit on this figure, it's actually a very nice helmet because there's little 
plastic pieces that fill in the eyes, which you don't typically see in these custom or knockoff figures. So I like that about it, but it just is not fitting for a Batman character. The printing all over, there's a lot of printing, don't get me wrong here. Tons of printing all over this figure. Now you're probably not going to be able to see it on the, on the video, but it looks very, very blotchy. Like, it's just, it seems like the DPI for the printer was set way too low, and it just, it's blotchy all over throughout the whole thing. So that's one of the disappointing things. I think with a few mod modifications, this could look like a really good figure. However, they just missed the boat on it. I did another Arkham Asylum uh, Batman. That's this one right here. Be sure to check out that video, because I think this one actually looks way better. Let's go on to the next one. All right, this is Swimsuit Batman. Scuba slash swimsuit slash whatever Batman. You've probably seen him in the, the Batman Lego movie trailers. Uh, he's one of the many suits that was on his wall. Now, there's some good things happening here and some, some bad, some not so good things. Uh, the good things are there's a lot going on here. The printing's very nice. It's very bold for a knockoff figure. It actually looks very vibrant, very bold, and it really stands out. They actually do several other pieces within here, several different colors, and it's not just a painted color, it's actual a mold. Now the bad part about that is, I could tell on this figure they used a little bit cheaper of a plastic, and the reason being is when I had to separate these two flippers, in between those flippers was this thing, and I had to separate them, and when I separated them, it actually broke this right flipper right here. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that, it's definitely a cheaper plastic, so that's unfortunate. The other thing is, I have no idea what this is. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I tried to look online, I couldn't find it. Um, so I just put it in his hand. I, I thought maybe it would attach to the scuba outfit right here, but it doesn't. But uh, other than that, the printing looks very nice. The actual, it's very crisp, and the gauntlets are not are also included in this one. I didn't see them on the actual official figure, but uh, I think it's a nice added touch. This is another Batman that was not included within this the main Batman movie set. So let's open this one. I believe this is one of the new 52 Batman suits. I don't know too much about it, but it looks really cool. Uh, one of the things that stands out is his red eyes. He's got these red eyes versus the white eyes that you normally see. And his bat symbol on his chest is a little bit wider, a little bit thicker, so you don't really see the actual bat within there. Looks different. One thing that it comes with, it comes with this really super thick cape and the printing. So for th those of you guys who don't know, red on black, when you're actually putting red onto black as far as ink goes, it's very hard to duplicate it vibrantly. And they did a fantastic job with this one. It actually looks very vibrant. And they even include me, even include this little, uh, the silver, the silver piece right here, a little silver printing on that. And any time these guys put silver on the paint, it usually sells me on the figure because it just shows one little extra detail that they put in there that makes it stand out. And it has a great back printing as well. A little bit dark as a figure, but a really good looking figure. And this is Patriotic Batman. So one of the great things about Batman is no matter how ridiculous his outfit is, he still has this extremely serious look on him. Just look at that. He just looks mad. He's probably mad because he's wearing this Uncle Sam suit. Uh, and uh, You know, it looks pretty good though. Honestly, the pinstripes show up pretty nicely. I would have preferred if they did like a bat, the same thing what they did with this one, the bat bow tie there. That would have really stand out. Uh, the printing on his ears. I think they should have just went all blue or really did this better than what they did because the red is fading a little bit towards the bottom. But uh, the, the cape is a nice contrast to this blue, this dark blue versus this light blue on here. That looks pretty good. And he doesn't have, he's got a little back printing, nothing to really show off. The gauntlets again, gauntlets, gauntlets look great in this one. 
And then we got one more bonus figure. So we have one bonus figure. This is the Robin suit from Batman vs. Superman. And it alludes to the fact that Robin was murdered by the Joker. And Batman kept the suit to remind him of his, his dark past. So I love this character. I love this minifigure and how they executed this. A few different reasons why. First thing is, love this axe. I think this axe is great. And I actually have to, I want to go back and watch the movie again just to see if this axe is actually included in there. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to double check. Second thing is, is this two-tone cape. You never see Lego with two-tone capes. And it's thick. You can really tell it's thick and it actually is, is made out of decent material. Not like those regular paper capes that Lego comes with. Looks fantastic, looks great. You can see on the front here it's printed, haha, jokes on you, Batman. And just uh, the, w the way this is done is, is very well. You can tell they took a little bit extra care in this. And I can't remember if this was actually Nightwing or Robin, but uh, either way, looks fantastic. I like the black hood on there. Uh, nothing on the back, but uh, they do have some nice side printing for the arms here on both sides. Fantastic figure. And here are all the characters put together. All right, guys. So somewhere on the screen, there is one character that is just not quite right. So the first person to find out which character that is and puts it in the comments below, I will give you a shout out in the next video I do. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Make sure you click that thumbs up button. It really does help us out. Click that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, you can help us take a gander.